Hello and welcome to Pay My Student User Guide. In this guide, we will look at how to access financial support, how to create an account and also how to apply for a college bursary. There are five college bursaries. Depending on your circumstances, such as age, level of course and type of course, you may be eligible to apply for one of the following. The 16 to 19 bursary, the Adult Support Fund, the Advanced Learner Loan Bursary, the Progression Bursary or the Academic Excellence Bursary. Please note that new students will be required to register either with their ID numbers or with a temporary ID number. Continuing students who were in receipt of a bursary last year can log in using their previous details. A new application is required for each year regardless of the length of the course. Bursary payments will be suspended if attendance drops below 90%. The Bursary Database is a standalone system. Login details are unique and should not be confused with the Moodle login details. This is the same process for all bursaries, whether you are applying for the 16 to 19 bursary, the Adult Support Fund, the Advanced Learner Loan Bursary, HNC Progression, the Academic Excellence or the Vulnerable Learner Bursary. The application assessments process will take up to six weeks and bursaries are grants. They do not need to be paid back. In order to access information about the college bursaries, as well as to start the application, you will need to log on to the Bedford College website. Once you have done this, select Student Life. Once you have clicked on Student Life, you will see a number of options. You will need to then select Financial Support. This will now take you onto the financial support page where you'll be able to find out further information about the various bursaries on offer and who is eligible to apply. Before applying, it is important to have a good understanding of the eligibility criteria. The applicant will be required to meet certain criteria, including the following. A household income of no more than £30,000 living in the UK with settled status for at least three years. For travel, the student must live more than three miles from campus. And for meals, which are £4 per day, the household is a receipt of support such as universal credits or child tax credits, only if not in receipt of working tax credit. The Academic Excellence Bursary is open to students aged 16 to 18 and who are attending Bedford Sixth Form College only. If this is you, you may qualify for this, which is a £4,000 bursary, and if you achieve eight GCSEs grades 9 to 6, including English Language and Maths, and at least four of your GCSEs are at grades 9 to 7. You will need to study our full-time A-Level or Equivalent Level 3 programme. This is not means tested and therefore you can apply regardless of household income. The bursary is awarded over two years, so is £2,000 per year in four instalments. If you qualify for this bursary, you will not be awarded any further financial support from the 16 to 19 bursary. Students are expected to behave in accordance with the Bedford Sixth Form Code of Conduct for payments to continue. So how do you start your application for any one of the following bursaries? Well, you will need to scroll down the financial support page and click on the Launch Eligibility Checker tab. Every applicant is required to go through the eligibility questions. This will take you through to the student page for the applications. This can also be used to log into the bursary account once it has been set up. Further information can be found under the Eligibility Criteria tab. Download a copy of the policy if required.
The Eligibility Checker will take you through a series of questions based on the learner's age, their study programme, household income and residency status. Once you have answered these questions and if you are eligible, you will be taken directly to the Pay My Student page, where you'll be required to create an account. If all of the answers on the eligibility checker fall into the accepted range, the applicant will be able to proceed. If any of the answers fall outside of the accepted range, for example, if the household income is over £30,000, the applicant will not be able to apply. This will eliminate applications that would not have been approved and should prevent unnecessary processing and a five to six week wait for the applicant. Before you start your application, it is advisable to have the following information at the ready. A valid email address, a current mobile phone number, your course information, three months of the most recent household income evidence, this may include pay slips. To avoid any delays, please ensure that all relevant pages are uploaded. Parent guardian details will be needed if you are applying for the 16 to 19 bursary. And a funding letter will also be required if you are applying for the advanced learner loan bursary. You will also need to provide bank details. This can be either your parent or guardians or the students. To proceed through the application, the student will need to provide this information as requested on each page before being able to continue. The application can be saved and returned to if necessary. Once you have completed the eligibility checker, you will be taken onto the online bursary application system, which will enable you to create a new account if you are applying for the first time or for existing learners who have already set up an account in previous years, you will be able to log back into your account using your same information. For those who are applying for the first time and do not yet have their student ID number, you will need to select the option No Student Number. Once you select No Student Number, you will be taken through to create an account. You will need to input the learner's information along with the correct campus they will be studying at. You will also need to select email or SMS for your activation code to be sent through to you. Please ensure that you select the option which is most accessible to you. Once you have activated your code, you will be sent a temporary student number which will start with TMP. You will then need to input this into the option which says register, along with your date of birth and your password. Once this has been done, you are now ready to start applying for your bursary. You will now be taken onto a page which looks like this. On the left hand side, you will be able to see bursary applications 2021 to 22. You will need to select this and then you can start inputting your information. You will now need to select the correct campus which you will be studying at. This is very important as it may affect whether you get support with travel or not. You will now need to input your parent or guardian's details. Please ensure that you select the correct bursary. For the majority of you, this will be the college bursaries option. However, for those applying for the Advanced Learner Loan Bursary or the Sixth Form Excellence Bursary, you will need to select the appropriate option. If you are unsure, please contact a member of the Student Services team who will be able to advise you. It is better to get this correct rather than guess and delay your application if not entered correctly. Then these series of questions which you will need to answer. These will be individual to you and must be answered correctly and honestly. The next page is about uploading evidence, depending on your answers given on the previous section. You can use scanned documents, high quality photographs 
or screenshots taken from your phone as evidence which can then be uploaded. Please ensure that you include all pages, that there is no information missing and that it can be easily read. Having everything correctly uploaded will ensure that there are no delays with your assessment. The bursary team will contact you should they require further evidence. You will now need to enter the bank details of the account which you would like the money to be paid into. It is up to you to decide whether you want this to go into your student's bank account or into the parent or guardian's account. Once you have entered all of the relevant sections and have agreed and signed the declaration, you will be able to submit your application ready to be assessed by the bursary team. Please note that applications take on average between four to six weeks to be assessed and may take longer if you submit closer to the start of term. Within that time, please do check your account as well as emails in case you are required to provide further information. For further guidance on applying for a college bursary, please see the contact student services at tresham.ac.uk or student services at bedford.ac.uk depending on whether you are attending one of our Northamptonshire or Bedfordshire campuses.